Yeah, yeah, something that we haven't done particularly well. Um, runners in scoring position in general and, and two outs. Um, it was good to see um, a, a couple of runs put up on the board in those situations. And, uh, you know, it was just a, a game where, um, you know, Irvin, they, they seem to get a lot of good swings. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the issue is, but, you know, he's throwing hard. He's using his slider. Change up still, um, you know, he went to it there, I think, in the third inning, and, and, and uh, I think that's what uh, Calhoun hit out. But, um, you know, the, the troubling thing is when, you know, the three times that we scored, um, they answered, you know, you'd, you'd like to try to you know, go back out and try and put zeros up to get us, you know, a little bit of momentum there. So, but we kept, we kept fighting, had a couple chances late to get uh, two outs hit, two out hits in the inning that uh, I think. Bluff and uh, Dozier came up there, but uh, they're hoping did a nice job, and uh, um, they hung on for a one-run win. With Irvin, is there anything that can, he can work on between starts? And- well, he's you know he's he's a prideful, motivated, hardworking professional pitcher who's had some success at this level. There's no doubt about that. And he's uh, it's it's been a little bit of a grind trying to uh, you know minimize damage early in the game and. Um, you know, I know his pitch count was down tonight. I just thought it was it was time to go ahead and uh, make a change out there. But um, he'll keep working. Um, I don't think it's something that's, you know, major in terms of having to do anything drastic. It's just kind of refining. It seems like when he makes mistakes, they're getting hit hard. Talk, talk about uh, them getting good swings on. Are you worried that he's tipping? Uh, you know, you know, we might we might look at that. I'm not overly concerned about it because I, I certainly don't see it. He hasn't had history of that. Um, but it's something that you want to make sure of. But I, I, I don't think that's the reason. You know, there's just situational pitching. Um, you know, that first inning even there with, with, with Albert up there on open base, you know, uh, second and third. And, uh, you know, we know Crone can hit too, but, you know, you got an open base to, an MV, to a Hall of Fame player and you throw a slider down the middle, you know. So it's just, you know, keeping that focus, you know, we're not going to execute every pitch, but... Um, you know, it's just something that you, you, you got to be aware of certain situations. Should we be expecting more from him? He's a terrific talent, but he just hasn't put a uh, big stretch together. You know, he, we all know about last year, uh, pitched really well for us down the stretch. Um, this year, coming in healthy, um, it's just it just hasn't been consistent um, like we've seen him in the past. How about uh, Dozier's role in that double play getting crowned at first? Fly ball to right. I didn't see it. Was there a deke there? Yeah. Yeah. Like well, you know, I, I, these guys play the game right. Uh, you know, you, at any time you break on a pitch, you, you try to find the baseball. So I, I, I don't know if he was fooled as much as he thought maybe he had enough time to recover. You know, Max was aggressive with the throw and threw it on the money. And Buxton's throwing it as his first outfield assist this year, but. How- do you think that sometimes people underestimate his own? No, I, I think, you know, he hasn't been up here a lot, but scouting reports are going to tell you that he's got a high-end major league throwing arm, whether you want to call it a seven or an eight. It's it's near the top shelf. Um, you're not going to see Trout get thrown out too often on a base hit up the middle, even though the ball was scorched. Um, just an aggressive to the ball. Uh, you know, Centeno made a nice play of picking the hop and making the tag, but it was a very strong throw.